Hello everyone. So last week we were talking about story elements. We talked about plot and the, um, we did a plot map, right? Well, this week we're going to be talking about theme. So we'll go ahead and start this presentation. And you might be wondering, hmm, what is theme? It's an important part to any story, but what is it? Well, theme is the lesson you can learn from about life that comes from the story. So it can, uh, to help find it, find it in your story, you might ask these questions. What is the author trying to get me to know? What is the author trying to tell me about this story? And the story of Cinderella, he's not trying to tell me about Cinderella's life. What is the underlying message? What is the story really about? Theme is not the subject or topic. So a subject or topic would be love or um, friendship. Those are subjects, those are topics. Um, theme is not about a certain character. You can't say that the theme of Cinderella is Cinderella learns to um, love, you know, learns to love the prince or Cinderella learns to love her life. It's not, no, it cannot be a specific person. It cannot be a specific character. It has to apply to anyone. It has to be broad. And the theme is never specifically written in a story. It's never specifically told. So when you're watching movies or when you're reading books, the author is never going to tell you what the theme is. The author wants you to think deep. They want you to read critically and come up with the theme yourself. So looking at these words, money, kindness, self-confidence, would you call those themes? No, 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 no. Those are topics. Those are subjects. And not only that, themes have to be written in complete sentences. They are not one word or two word answers. You always have to write them in a sentence. So for a, an example of a money theme would be money does not buy everything. That would be a theme. Helping others bring rewards. Yeah, that would be a theme. Be happy with who you are. Those are themes, but money, kindness, self-confidence, those are not, those are topics. Now you might be wondering, how is this any different than main idea? So the th theme is the story or is a lesson or message within the story but the main idea tells us what the story is mostly about. So the main idea, you can talk about the characters, you can say the characters' names. In the main idea, um, you may be talking about specific incidents that happen within the story, but the theme, you don't, the theme stays broad. So for example, a theme could be, it's okay to be different. Now, if you were to read a passage, the main idea of that passage might be Jenny and Melissa like very different things, but they are best friends. That would be the main idea of the passage. Now, the theme of that passage would be, it's okay to be different. So when, uh, when other people read this, they can relate to it's okay to be different. But if they read the words or the sentence, Jenny and Melissa like very different things, but they're best friends, they can't relate to that because it's specifically about Jenny and Melissa. So when you write theme, you wanna keep it open. You don't wanna talk about your characters specifically. So we're gonna read this together and see if we can figure out a theme. So it says, Tina was not in the mood to be helping her mom paint her bedroom. However, her mom told her that if she wanted hot pink bedroom walls, she would have to help. The main problem was that Tina's mom was such a perfectionist that it would take forever. Tina asked if they could split the room in half, with each of them painting two walls. To her surprise, her mom agreed. Tina didn't waste any time with her two walls. Except for a couple of mistakes where her roller of paint hit the ceiling, she was pleased with how nice her two walls of wet paint looked. Her mom, who was just finishing her first wall, told her she could go to a movie with her friend as promised. After the movie, Tina invited her friend to see her new hot pink colored room. When she walked in, she couldn't believe what she saw. In front of her were two walls that looked just as she imagined they would. Those were the two walls her mom had painted. The two walls she had painted, though, mm -mm, didn't look so hot. Instead of being bright, solid pink, she saw a lot of areas where she didn't use enough paint, so bits of the previous white wall color showed through. Tina couldn't deny the fact that she would have to apply another coat of paint to the walls she had just done. So, thinking about this, how would we find the theme? Well, what is the, the author of this trying to let us know? What, what is the main goal? It's not that Tina needs to spend more time painting. It's not that Tina worked too fast, that she was more interested in going out with her friends. So you think deep, pause for a minute, I'm about to show you an answer. 
All right, here it is. It's best to do things right the first time. So if, if she had done that the first time, then she wouldn't have to go back through and paint her walls again. So that's what that is. But now when you, when you read this, it's best to do things right the first time. You can apply that to your own life, right? You can apply that to your homework. You can apply that to doing housework at home. Are your parents or your guardians, are they telling you to clean your room and you throw all your stuff under your bed? And then they get upset because you didn't do it right. That's how that works. The theme, while it also applies to the story we read, we can apply it to other aspects of our own life. Even if we're not ta- like in our own lives, we're not painting walls. But if I said Tina needs to work harder at painting the walls or Tina needs to do things right the first time, that's specifically for Tina. So that would be more a part of the main idea, part of the summary. The theme applies to everyone. So... Now that we've gone through this, hopefully you're feeling pretty good about theme. I've got two theme questions to ask uh, to ask you for today. The first one is about Halloween and candy. So you'll read this passage. You'll go down. Which of the following best describes the theme of this story? And then you'll choose one. And then you'll read the next one. This one is about Meredith and um, her grandma. You'll go through, and then again, you'll decide which of the following best describes the theme of this story. And you choose the one that marks off everything we talked about today. It doesn't include names. It's a full sentence. Um, it can apply to everyone's life, not just specifically Meredith or not specifically the characters in the story. All right. Um, as always, if you need any help, get on that Google Doc and we'll point you, or get on that Google Meet. We'll point you in the right direction. Um, otherwise, good luck.